Hello there. So I've done a number of videos on this device, which is the Books Tab Mini C, and a number of folks have asked, hey, does OneNote work with the device? So I'm gonna do probably a little more of an in-depth video at some point comparing not only the native note-taking app, but also OneNote and comparing and contrasting and giving my thoughts about that. But I thought for this brief video, I would just show that OneNote does indeed work and give you a sense of how well. So let's go ahead and get going. I've got uh, the Android version of OneNote installed on this device and I've got my desktop version here and both are logged into the same account. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And I've got front lighting on just a little bit past halfway so that you can see it. And we're gonna go ahead and use this guy, this is a nice, uh, cute little portable keyboards, which we can unfold and it, it will connect to the device. I've already um, uh, linked these devices together and so um, we're good. And we can go ahead right in to the app. Okay, let's go ahead and start by typing a title. And you can see that um, pretty much usually syncs. It's interesting. I type title, and I wonder if it has anything to do with this underline. Hmm, that didn't come across. Let's refresh. Interesting. Okay. Let's try just typing in the body and see if, oh, I wonder if it's because there's that space there. Let's try that. Oh, interesting, okay. Uh, of course, I've tried this many times and not once did that happen. So that's exactly how these always go. Oh, there it is, wonderful. So it resolves itself eventually. Okay, let's go ahead and just type in the body here and so we can see it, we'll increase the font size to 36 and, and it's a tight keyboard, so it's kind of hard to type on, but uh, let's try to write on this. Okay, didn't quite get it right. We'll go ahead and Add the E. Okay, there it is. And uh, there it is right there. So it's perfect syncing, it works great. Let's go ahead and put this keyboard aside and let's do some drawing. I'll go ahead and click on the draw there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and pick this pen style and we'll make it, um, let's make it red or, or actually whatever this color is might be purple actually, and we'll make it a really thick line, like so, so we can really see it. Now what you're gonna find is I'm gonna write, and it's gonna take the writing in, in a very kind of thin black line, that's the default. And you'll notice that as the writing comes across the screen, it actually will write in the pen and the settings that we set for it. And only when we refresh will those uh, reflect on this screen as well. So let's see that in action. Okay. Okay. So it records it like that. It uh, takes it in like that. And if I go ahead and refresh, then it reflects it there as well. Uh, you can see a little bit more of a, a true purple, and this is more a little more burgundy down here. Let's go ahead and back off the uh, extreme pen type. We'll do a blue, and just go now in blue, like so. Same deal. It writes uh, almost same time. Let's see what the lag is. I'm just gonna go draw. Yeah, see so when I pull the pen, it appears like so. A little bit of a lag, not too bad, just a, a second or so. And then we can also use a highlighter. Let's go ahead and do that and let's... And there you go. So yeah, I mean, it works pretty well. 
there is that weird kind of uh, lag that we've seen. Um, when we'll just pick another color just for fun. Let's do this. I think this is an orange, perhaps. Um, oh no, I guess it's a red. Let's see when last test. And there you go. Let's pull the front lighting on a little bit further. Let's see if those colors stand out more. Yeah, the colors stand out a lot more that way. Um, let's see here. Is it green? Just scroll. Okay. One more time. Okay, there you go. Um, and of course we'll refresh the screen to reflect it here as well. So you can see it's it's pretty functional. I just want to try one more thing. A number of posters have talked about using the lasso tool sometimes causes OneNote to crash on Android or on the books devices. Let's see if that's true here. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll just do that. So we'll do the lasso there and we'll go around like so. That looks pretty good. Let's see if we can move it. And it moves just fine. Move it back. All right, very good, there you go. So that is just a demo of this book's device and OneNote and it works great. A little bit of a weird lag between uh, you know writing and getting that to the font to show up properly on this device, but it shows up immediately uh, and syncs uh, perfectly. Um, so you could actually even do online collaboration uh, theoretically if you were if you were working out of the same notebook. Okay, well that is uh, that's it for now. Uh, again, in a future video, I'll kind of delve a little bit deeper into it, but hopefully for now you can have a sense of at least the basic functionality of OneNote on the books tab mini C. All right, thank you. Until next time.